The engineers at Ford took the Ranger through a series of four extreme tests, pushing it to its limits and proving it's tough done smarter. This is the science of truck. The Ranger is built to take on harsh conditions. To prove it, the Ford engineers are here at this test facility to show how the Ranger's smart design delivers outstanding weighting capabilities. Today we're going to take the Ranger through 200 millimetres of water at high speed. Then we're going to take the water level up to 800. 200 doesn't sound like a lot of water, but at that speed it's going to be like a hydraulic hammer. Hitting unseen water at 25 kilometres per hour can damage a vehicle that's not built for water weighting. That's why the front end of the Ranger was designed to disperse the force of the water, keeping the wheels on the ground and the driver in control. Above this guard is where we've actually got the air intake. This is what makes this car breathe. The alternator was brought up. We've moved electrical components high up in the engine bay again. It's been designed to be tough. The Ranger's smart aerodynamics works like a ship's hull, forming a bow wave that spreads the water away from the air intake as the truck cruises. We're a Ranger, we only call it a pass if we can do it at max payload. The engineers could be calling it a day, but they're not quite satisfied. So I'd like to uh, back it in and let it idle in the water for an hour, because that's something that we've never done before. Once again, the Ranger slips into the 800 millimetre depth, but this time for more than just a crossing. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. We've got all sealed connectors that are watertight. We don't want water getting in there, otherwise there'll be pistons everywhere. The fog lamps would have been sitting down at the bottom there. High intensity, still working. The Ranger's elevated air intake keeps the engine idling normally. That's two hours. Two hours. Yeah, it's amazing. Our engineers think ahead. So when it comes to the extreme conditions, the Ranger performs. That's what we like to call tough, done smarter. This is Field Test, Malaysia. My name is Ira and today I challenged the Ranger to get to a camping site um, somewhere near Kota Belud. Two years ago I attempted the same route, I couldn't make it because terrains were full of um, uphills, downhills, very rocky, the surface was very uneven and we had a lot of rivers to cross as well. So with the vehicle that I used, it just wasn't possible. Okay, kita sekarang berada di sini. Okay. Yeah, terus tu. When you are trying to do water crossing during off-roading, the best thing to do is to actually stop your vehicle before, for example, a river, and go down and make sure that um, you know how deep the river is. Other advice that I would give people driving off-road is also to check ahead of you. Um, you drive where you can see. For example, um, recognize your obstacle. You need to know what your car can or can't do. There are a lot of features in the Ranger which I truly, truly enjoyed. Um, the suspension going through the rocky terrains, the gravel, I felt the car was very stable. I really enjoyed driving the Ranger and I was able to get to the campsite where I didn't a few years ago and to be honest that felt really good.